You right, Dave? Yeah, no, I know what we you're going to do. No, 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 no. no, I know what you're going to do, and it's not right. It's not right. You're taking advantage of a situation. I'm not taking advantage at all. We've, we came sailing today. We were going to go sailing. Uh, we left nine o'clock. It's now half past 12. We haven't got sailing yet. Uh, we've just gone to Limington to get a spare part for his engine. He was belching out black smoke. And so obviously he needed assistance. And so we've taken his elbow off, his exhaust elbow. Oh. And it was on the back seat. It was right. caked. Yeah, not as bad as yours, you said. No, it wasn't as bad as mine, but there it is. We've managed to decoke it, knock all the bits out. But of course, we uh, in the mean in doing that, we. I mean, no, hang on. You'd have thought, having offered to come and do my elbow, and why does he want to do it? Because he wants to take my boat for a long trip, not his dirty old thing. So we have to check the elbow. You'd have thought he'd have come. Having told me to get a gasket first. Anyway, no, it's not no. my responsibility. We, no. we, we got we had to get a new gasket. And you got me in trouble last ruined. week. Let's not forget that. Just because you wouldn't take your responsibility got me in serious trouble. More about so that. So anyway, we were supposed minute. to be sailing. I brought some homemade spices to do a nice chicken korma. So I've still got to do that. Having fixed his engine, and well not yet fixed it, but so it's one of those typical Dave Oliver cool running stays where you think you're gonna go sailing, you never actually get out. Uh, so we just have a tea and coffee. We've just arrived back at the marina. It's going to be half past one, two o'clock before we get this elbow back on. He's so slow. Honestly, you should watch him. Ask him about I'm so no, slow. I'm ask so him. Slow. Ask him how big my engine compartment is. He has to do physical yoga contortions to do anything on his engine. Yeah, nevertheless, literally a, stands up tall. It's in a mine. dark, dingy, it's sweaty all, you know, place. He sent me. Could you have a look at that? I'm slow. You're it's taking us ages just to reverse anything. this car. You're miles away. No, but there's a car right behind me. We're blocking the entrance way now with that such terrible parking. Terrible parking. Anyway, we'll go and get this. We'll show you <laughs> the engine compartment, see what you think, whether this is a fair exchange of skills. Going to the shop now. See how long it takes him. Got a new watch, by the way, from my wife. You get used to it, but it does take some getting used to. We're trying to go to Falmouth in a couple of weeks' time, and we want to take cool running, so his engine's got to be in good working order. Uh, maybe go over to the Sillies, so we'll take the camera with us, but have you told no them, joy. Have you told them how you lost your pickup or and what you've done to stop it? Very poor seamanship, I thought. So that's the stuff. Good. Good engine, that. Good engine, this. Beautiful weather today. Yeah. The sort of day you want to be stuck in an engine compartment. More like cool not runnings today. <laughs> Back on board, spare parts, tools. This is my life down in here. Put your light on. Space. Have we got the torches, Pal, or not? got that, there we go. Oh, carbon in there. See, you're dropping out. Loads, mate. Nearly there. Got the last Jubilees to go on. So it's now time to sail. Sun's gone in, of course, but um, the skipper's casting us off and going to take us sailing down the river. Um, we're going to go that way. But anyway, that's not what I'm doing. I'm down here stuck in the galley cooking chicken korma for my sins. So I fixed his engine, now I've got to fix his dinner. Fixed his engine, fix his dinner. I've been fixed up, that's what's happened. board and I'm cooking you get restaurant quality chicken korma better than restaurant quality actually really wow. nice ground almonds five spices brown rice good job hate to say it really really sticks in my core in fact I can't eat anymore 
Can you know? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Oh, could you just <laughs> oh, just, just you covered the phone with your curry and your hands with I mean I've never seen a phone smothered in korma, ground almonds and cream before. Anyway, that's not what I was gonna no, say. No, but it's filthy. Yeah, I was gonna say this. <laughs> you know sometimes you do a long trip and you get there exhausted but you feel wonderful, <laughs> don't you? Yeah, yeah. I feel like that now, but we've only done a mile. And you don't feel wonderful. <laughs> Sorry, Fiona, 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 nice to know Fiona, how Fiona's getting on, wouldn't it, in America? I've heard from you for ages. I keep getting this email from a lady called Fiona. <coughs> keep hoping it's you, but it's actually a place called Bembridge. She heads up the uh, email list for Bembridge Harbour. So every time I get it, I think, ooh, it'll be Marco Polo Island. No. I hope you're important. doing well in the COVID period there over there, mm. Fiona. Fiona, question for you. Dylan and I are at that age and stage. 14th of August, everybody, 70 years old. Just saying, just saying. Hard to believe he's only 70. Hard to believe. Rude boy. But um, we've been wondering about buying a second-hand Lagoon 36, something like that, and keeping it in Florida like a second home, but keeping it as a boat home. What do you think? Any thoughts? Ping us some, a message or an email. It'd be great. Do you think Andy's out today? Andy, no, it's too bright, too shiny. He was been too out nice. the last week, hasn't he? Has he? He's, he must in have been because in that rain. Yeah. Summer pretending it's autumn. That's your kind of sailing, Andy, surely. Summer pretending it's autumn. Andy, we're going to come over your way in the next few weeks. We want to do... Um, we, we had a lovely trip with our family. Where did we, we did. go? Emsworth Channel. Emsworth Channel and then uh, Northney Channel. And uh, delightful, really delightful. So we want to come and do it again with the camera. We do. Two great places for a long lunch or an overnight. Come and have a beer with us, Andy, if it's raining. Yeah. Because you won't be no, out otherwise. Be we'll not be out in the rain. He'll be on his own again. That's true. Sorry, it's just a short video today, but we only came a mile in the end. Didn't get much saving done at all. Got, in fact, got no sailing done, so we're a motorboat today, motoring about in a river. Nice. I'm about to show him a new place, which we might take a video of. So he could, by the way, he, he has got a paddle board and he likes it. He takes off on his own on it. His solo sailing has taken a dive, but his solo paddle boarding has basically enlarged <coughs> in uh, his interest. Hey, Dave. What now? Mr. and Mrs. Acuity are in for a romantic night tonight. Are they? Yeah. Why? Well, we're not, we're, if we send out a little video, they go Ooh. to bed, have an early night, bottle of wine. Yeah, that'd they, be good. By the way, folks, um, this is a great lunch spot. I'm not sure we've ever talked about this, but Jill and I often, if we're doing a day out, just stealing away in the sun uh, from her vaccine job in the hub in Basingstoke, we come here and... Uh, it's it's a lovely spot for a lunch very easy reach from Bewley quite easy from Southampton or the Hamble or Cows Wor worth a try if you've not done it he's trying to justify <coughs> just no, doing a mile today giving value no, to our viewers he's no stop it he's justifying it's value value for our viewers you are going to be shown a place for your paddleboard that you've never seen before and it's life changing it will be Right, look forward to that then. Eh? Trying to find some filth that I can't. It's absolutely immaculate, this boat. Absolutely immaculate. Yeah, anal. Now, just saying how tidy your boat is, how clean it is. Anal. Yeah. Mm. Would you not agree? He thinks it's remarkable. He's down there cleaning at the moment. Dave, how long have you had that beautiful socket set that you brought today? This one? Mm. I think Christmas before last. It's the first time he's opened it today. 
Yeah, well, I've opened it at Christmas. You opened it at Christmas. Look at it. And it's, uh, it's 18 months, and it's the first time he's used it. It's yeah. good, good to... Good to get, good to keep yeah. things nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice set. Yeah. Look at that filth on there, gosh. He's got us paddling now. Good exercise for him. By the way, he's just reached his 60th. But it's to too late to buy him a present. Hard to believe Might I'm just sick. Just saying, mine's coming on the 14th of August. Somebody thought my brother was my son this week. <laughs> uh, understandable. This is pleasant. Good for paddleboarding is what I thought. I've come down here a few times and just rowed, just to get away from Jill. <laughs> <laughs> in a she, nice sense. She was quite pleased I'd gone. <laughs> Giving her a break. I feel it's going so he's quite promised well. me an adventure. What do you, what do you got to say for yourself, Dave? Well, it, it's a wee bit dry up here, look. I mean, not much, just a wee bit. We're, we're on mud, basically, and we have been for <laughs> about 15 minutes just trying to push our way through it. I think we may have been beat. <laughs> So we're stuck in the mud now for an hour or two, he says. <laughs> anyway, there's no chance of sinking right here. No. Turn around and go back? Yeah. Well, that's another, that's another two miles to put in the logbook, Dave. That's good, isn't it? A couple of miles. That's a real achievement, that. Yeah, here we are back after a long day's us, slog. Yeah, around the world, Nick. Next time we should go a little bit further down the uh, Bewley with a hope to make it out one day. Yeah, good idea.